Hello everybody, welcome to the last part in our series on implementation of LLM parser. Uh, here's Ahmad Nasser as all time with you and uh, before we get started don't forget to subscribe the channel support us with our with your subscription you can also join us on Facebook you can communicate with us send us messages ask us questions um, you are more than welcome okay guys um, so let's begin with the code here actually it's not uh, it's an easy program uh, with a uh, one method actually one centralized method that run the entire program uh, first thing we have the grammar rule and the production table the, the parsing table that we have developed uh, we have been developing in the uh, you know previous tutorials um, so this is the L1 parser this is the input first we initially the input of you know index of input is minus one the stack we got the table with the entire production for example here we had got a because in the table we got f give us a so we take just the right side we got have a here and so forth for the entire elements in the table we have none terminals we have terminals here and we have the l1 parser just give it the input from the constructor so we have the the, the main method here we just call the input we give, give it the input with ending dollar sign so anything after this the 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 program not gonna read this because the last item is dollar sign so it's gonna stop right so you should care about this uh, for this program uh, we just run the uh, the algorithm and uh, we just started with the algorithm so here's the algorithm that we have we just push the the character and push the, the the you know push the first character so in this case we have a so we're gonna push a first and uh, where's the algorithm let me just find okay we push G and uh, we just started with reading the token so in order to read the token you just need to take this input and read the read it character by character and advance the input index so we have index uh, or index of input so when you read I mean you need to advance the uh, we you know if you are the first place you need to move to the second place when you read so this is pretty much for the method read so method read is um, the first method that we need in order to get the token so here the we have we just increment it's initially zero uh, minus one so we got have zero and character is equal to this input the character as zero and we just take the string and return it take the values of this character and return it so we're gonna have the first token so this is the first thing you need to know um, so we read uh, the token we get the top initialize you know, initialize it to null and this is the the main loop that run the entire program we have a loop here this loop we just uh, we have three options uh, maybe it's terminal it's non terminal it's terminal or it's non either non terminal or terminal so we need to throw an error error is just a function that we just built it in this program and it just take a message and throw a runtime exception so if you go to the error method that we use it a lot in this program just like panic mode so we just give it a string and we just throw a new runtime exception after printing on the line the message so basically we just move back to the algorithm um, wait a minute so algorithm here we just started with a do while loop here we have do while it's true it's infinite loop but we gonna break it only if we got dollar sign so if we got dollar sign we're gonna break this loop right we're gonna break it so we're gonna um, ac move across the entire input and we're gonna do comparison with a you know according to it non-terminal or terminal we're gonna do something different so so if we got the dollar sign, we're gonna break this loop. But fa basically, all the time we need to get the top of the stack, and we need to see if it's if this top is non-terminal. So non-terminal, just take the top. Just you know, just want to check the top. Is it is it non-terminal? If it's terminal, you need you need just to take the top and the token. The top here is the non-terminal, right? If and the token is the input, the terminal. So we take this terminal and non-terminal 
uh, we need to take the index of this non-terminal and terminal in order to go to the table. So in this example, for example, if we have T, for example, and you have a star, so you need to, uh, y you know, if we have H, for let me say H, and we have star. Okay, the non-terminal is H, and the terminal is, is a star, but we need to get this rule. So I need to get the rule. In order to get the rule, you need to know what is the index of H and what is the index of star in order to return this rule. So this is pretty much for the non-terminal. Uh, I need to, um, to, to get the rule. So I just get the rule by knowing the, the, the what is the token and what is the index from the table. And I just get this rule and push it, push it into the stack. So we have a method called uh, push rule. Push rule is, you know, just wanna take this entire input and move across, uh, you know, from from the last to the beginning, from beginning to the last, you know, don't worry about that, but I prefer to, from the reverse way, to take it and to just, you know, to take a character by character and push it into the, to the stack. So we're gonna push it into the top of the stack. So, okay, I didn't talk yet about what, how to implement uh, to get the index, but I'm talking generally about the algorithm. So this is for the non-terminal. For the terminal, you need to um, to take the top if it's terminal and it's not equal to top. You want a three and error. If it's equal to the top, the talking that we have input is equal to the top. We want to advance the input. So I just explained to you what do we mean by read. When we read. Uh, we need to, um, you know, when we read the, when we read, we just we need to uh, increment the input and advance, uh, in, in increment the index input or the, you know, input index of the input. So we were at uh, zero, we're gonna be at one, so forth, and we need to do pop. But since we do this pop operation in in every array here, so uh, wh wh where is the do here? We do it everywhere here, so we don't need to repeat it again because we already use this here. Okay, so we pop and advance the input. Okay, um, okay, we continue. Uh, if the token is equal to dot sign, we're gonna break, right? So uh, for the the code, we have three methods here: the you know the the pop and the push and the uh, the push rule we see we see the read we see the is terminal and uh, is non terminal we need to look at, at these two methods basically is terminal just gonna take the string and compare it with the non terminal if it's in in, in that array of non terminal we're gonna return true if, if it's not we're gonna return false and the same thing for uh, the the terminal we're gonna do the same thing uh, but we sometimes we need to uh, you know we need to um, just to 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 test uh, to get the index. As I said, when when we need to go to the table, we need to get the row and the column. So we need to get the index of the star and the index of H. So you need to pass the H here and the the the, the H here and the the S and the star here. And to in order to get the index, in order to get the the rule, and return it here. So if this rule is equal to not, I mean we don't have such a thing here. We're just gonna say we don't have this rule. And if you know if it's success, we're gonna return the rule. If not, we're gonna return null. And this is how you get the in, not in the index. You just um, return i in here. If it's not, you get a return not minus one and so forth here. So this is pretty much for this algorithm, guys. Um, I will put the code in in, in um, GitHub. You can get your copy there, and you know. Okay, I will put I will put put it also in the description. So this is the first thing I want to show you about this grammar. You can change the, this grammar to other thing. I just modify the grammar to other one, and you can see it here. Uh, so this and we have a other example here. You can run it. So it's completely work uh, with a different production rules and different table here, and we, you know we just got different things. Okay, guys. So, before I finish the story, don't forget to subscribe. As all the time, I have a with you, and uh, see you in another video. Thank you, guys.
and you can send me messages through Facebook, uh, my email, or through Google Plus, anything you want. So thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and see you in another video.